packed up, ready to go. We've got Arthur's boat in the trailer and then Ross and my boat on top. So three boats in total, ready to go. Whereabouts are we? Well, I think we're like, I think we're at the bottom of Birmingham, I think, looking at the sat-nav, and then we're about like three and a half hours from Manglesey where we're going to hop on the ferry to Dublin. So we got to Ireland at about six this morning after a three hour ferry. Uh, just unloading, Arthur's just over here, unloading his boat. So his was in the trailer, so he's just got to go wings down. And then mine and Ross's boat's just here. So we've got to do the full kind of Monty with tramps on, but um, should be like an hour and a half or something. And then plan is to go out on the water. Looks pretty breeze on at the moment, but uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So when we went out, it was mainly in the harbour. We went out to see what the conditions were like, kind of scope it out, a bit of a shakedown, just to make sure all the boats were working and there weren't any problems. I've never sailed in Dunleary before and I don't think either of the boys have. Weather's looking pretty rubbish for today, it's really windy. So we just made sure the boats were kind of strapped down. Today, I think the plan is just to go into Dublin. Obviously, the main reason we come here to do the sailing events is to go sailing. But actually when days are blown off and you made sure the boats are kind of running okay, I think it's really important you do some other stuff. So um, so it's going to be nice to kind of see Dublin before the racing starts tomorrow. <laughs> Yesterday was good, we had a good four races, it was tough, but it was really fun. We've pretty much had everything from like 10 knots up to like 28 knots. It's been quite been quite tricky coming back into it, I've been off for about a month since Garda, so it's been quite interesting the boat handling. Yeah, it was a good day, it was long, I think we are out for about four and a half hours, uh, variable condition, I think up 28 knots at one point. Some good sailors out there, some good races, and uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, I think the best bit was just when you hit that windward mark and you felt the gust come through and you just fly downwind with just praying to the gods so you don't <laughs> miss all. <laughs> Hardest bit was probably when the last race well, we were coming around second lap at 23 minutes and there was no horn we had to do another lap after sailing already for 22 minutes and just the whole body aching but it was, it was fun. And any top tips for any new wasp sailors? Yeah, before you go racing or sailing at all, check over your entire boat. There's actually a good kind of uh, pre-flight checklist available online, which I should probably have used. Um, I'd say the biggest thing is just to try to get out sailing and have time sailing, because if you're not foiling, you're not having fun. And if you can't foil, I mean, you're doing swimming, you can do that in the sea without a boat. <laughs> Had a great time at the Wasp Nationals here in Ireland. Uh, so it was a one-two for the lads. So Ross was first and, and Arthur was second. I was fifth and first girl. Pretty good from the Brits, but uh, we'll come back next year and hopefully, you know, have a have a one-two-three. That'll be pretty cool. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> 